All right, hey guys, here we are, hole eight. So let's take a look at this one. So a straight tailwind, a couple different things we have as a choice. One of the things that I'm thinking is kind of berserkering this, top spin, side spin, trying to get my distance control down to not land in the sand. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something along the line. It's really hard to tell in terms of max club whether or not this is going to land long. I'm thinking something along the lines of this because I do think it's going to land right up here towards kind of the tip. So let's see here. Perfect. So let's just see. Let's see in terms of length. It kind of landed exactly where I thought it was. So with, um, you know, great ball potentially, you know, we're looking at extra mile six there, potentially going into the bunker. I'm um, going to be much easier with the apocalypse. It's almost like, though, you want to, you know, you, you almost need to get aggressive here on this edge. The only other thing that we're going to be able to do is probably a hook slice, but not with this. Um, I'm thinking more along the lines of a POC 5, a POC 6, a POC 7 hook slice, because what I can do is I can land on the left fairway and just try to create my bounces going more in line with the hole, because I'm never going to be able to get aggressive with my tee shot. I'm essentially going to have to just stay away from going towards the fair, towards the green here because I'm going to clip all this. So I need to avoid that. So here you can see, um, you know, Max Club being up here. I'm assuming I'm going to be landing somewhere around half-ish club. This is about half club right here. A little bit under half club. Not the easiest of all pitches. So I'm thinking something along the lines of here. Half club, two-ish, no. I think that's too much. What's a three? Is it 1.4? No, it's 1.6 still. No, 1.4. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to, this is kind of a guess, six and a half, six and a quarter rings. Uh, I don't think it's going to be seven and a half. I think this is going to slide by on the right. Yeah, for sure. I For some reason, I'm just kind of having a, you know, I think perfect ball, I probably had it. So the ring adjustment probably looked pretty good there. Just needed to catch my perfect ball. But for some reason, I'm having a lapse of what the wind, like I just, I just can't remember this club all of a sudden. Um, so I will check it after this so we can kind of confirm that. Keep in mind that I'm kind of landing it about half club. So I was, if my ring adjustment is 1.4, which I you know, I'm thinking that's what it was. I'm doing kind of like a 2.8 ish and plus a little bit of overplay because you got to consider wind effect as well. So I tried to go, you know, I think I went six, six and a quarter rings there. It's essentially for the overplay. You need to have that extra. Without that extra on there, it's probably about a ring more. Um, that wind effect is just going to take over your shot and you're always going to under adjust it. The most popular thing guys do is they under adjust those pitches. So that's what you'll want to keep in mind. So let me go. I do want to just check this out because I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys information that's in line with what I did. Yes. So 80 accuracy is 1.4 per ring. So that's why my shot probably would have went in because, or, or it would have been very close. It would have been lip out or better had I got my perfect ball there. Um, and it's because I used the 1.4 per as my base adjustment. So um, good luck with that hole, guys. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, again, you know, the guys with a little bit better drivers are going to have a little bit better, better chance there. So, um, you know, hopefully you're able to take advantage of that one. So good luck, and I'll see you guys on nine.